here in this first draft for the side of BLG. Response from Genji is Lissandra. Some of that point and click lockdown, again, always very desirable against a champion like Zeri, who is so fast. The point and click. Junglers, Shin making his way down, bot stacked wave. They're looking for the dive. All right, let's see it. Remember, Maokai can drop the aggro if he needs to, but it's not even going to be the point. They engage. The dive goes out, but they don't have the damage. Shun is low. Elk is low, but he's got the first blood, and they take down Pays. It's BLG. And especially with what you were talking about earlier, Azale, Yagao being a facilitator, being able to also go down there and help this guy out, get those bottom lane leads rolling, that could be huge if Elk can maintain this lead. Dorian going to shove Bin back up in the top side. Meanwhile, mid, it's Chovy under pressure. Shun and Yagao finding some damage, but now things are going to turn around as Chovy applies the ulti, and Shun's in trouble with a flash follow-up coming out from Peanut. Shun down to 100 HP. He's taken out, and Chovy's the one getting him there. Gen G find one. But and there's little that he can do to escape from this relentless crowd control that was coming out from Gen G. Good target focus, but BLG, they're not done yet. Yeah, Yagao rides the wall in, and Peanut's going to be the target. Remember, he already used the flash to make the play in mid. He's behind in terms of the matchup in the bottom lane, so BLG are coming into this with a game plan, and that game plan, unfortunately... You could be in trouble, potentially. He does have the ulti available on the Zeri, immediately popping that one. The Zaya goes up into the air. Peanut and Pays get it done. Peanut's going to get... At every turn. Genji, though, are trying to poke and prod here, seeing if they can get into position. Here comes the TP from Chovy. It's going to be that bot lane tower. Yep, Chovy had to TP to it. Remember, the teleport was not unleashed just yet, so he does have to still walk his way over here a little bit. Dorit goes in. The dragon's going to be claimed by Shun on the side of BLG. Delight is taken low, but he gets himself back out, but it's Peanut under pressure. It's Peanut down, and Dorit's not going to be able to secure a kill into Elk back. Meanwhile, Pays goes up into the air. The feathers fly, but Genji has to run. Elk serves over the wall. Zap! And he grabs a second kill, plus the Drake in the fight for BLG. Nicely done by BLG. No ultimate, no problem for Elk. He does have the sums. He's able to survive. BLG get the dragon and are able to actually win the fight as well here. Nicely done by Yagao, really making it difficult for Pina to enter. Oh, Bin thought he might have been able to grab the kill on Pays, but unfortunately for him, it's close. I mean, the gold does look quite close. Hang on, there will definitely be a fight here. Shun, go in. They want to find Doran here at the very beginning. They lock him down, but they can't quite kill him just yet. BLG! Pop. Back to the objective. Genji and Peanut still hanging around. Smite available on both junglers. Chovy goes over the wall here with a claw. Looking to find his way in here. Yagao throwing out a little bit of damage. Seismic shove back onto Chovy, who already used the ult aggressively. Chovy's in danger. Elk is popping off. He's not going to grab the damage. And Pays goes oh. in. Elk kills him instead. AD carries traded back and forth, but Gen G are struggling here in the fight. BLG turning it right back around. <laughs> so portal So he didn't actually have the cooldown there to pull the feathers through and get the initial kill. That allows Elf to finish him off, and then it's just a 1v1 battle on one side between the supports. Yes, they are happy to play that game. And you can see how confident they are. Yagao gets a nice stun onto Doran, but Yagao underneath oh, the turret. This is He's trouble dead. for Yagao. Doran should pick this one up, no problem. Oh, he missed! Oh. Away. No! No, Doran messed it up! And BLG get the kill instead. Oh. The mid laner survives! <laughs> Doran's gonna want the BLG's them. so quick to collapse. Now with the Herald, they're, they're likely gonna break up in this mid tier one. But BLG, I think, surprising many with a strong early game performance and Dominating in the fights, they're looking for another. Chovy gets stunned up, he can't take the claw out! The Lissandra's about to melt as BLG continue their push forward, and Chovy's the first one to die. Now the aggro shifts over onto Doran with Shun leading the charge. They bring in the wall thanks to Yagao, and Peanut is stuck on the wrong side. He'll be thrown back too. Elf grabs another. Three dead bodies. A completely uncontested dragon as BLG is dominating in game one. Yeah, and guys like Bin, who by the way, as a Jax, a true melee champion, topped the damage charts in the previous fight. I mean, he was going off. In a series where everybody expected them to be the ones with the edge. Now they've got manpower in mid, trying to force down this tier one turret. Here but comes a teleport's Finn. coming in, and Nature's Grasp is flying out. Finn is teleported, but he's in the middle of everybody. He's trying to buy some time. He's going to be killed. Chovy's wasting the time of his opponents. It'll be a one for one trade, but Finn is worth more. Uh, for this BLG team, is, they have a lot of damage dealers. I mean, there's even some Maokai AP. 
Uh, obviously, it's a carry top. It's very difficult for the side of Gen.G. I uh, just like the itemization a lot more on the BLG side, you know, the current place in the game, but also just the items that they're buying. You know, we see for the side of Gen.G, is it you hope that BLG get too hypey for their own good? You hope they overstep and you go for a punish? Or this is, is what you hope for. Force? This is it? All right. Well, Delight is running up, seeing if maybe there's something to find here, but it doesn't look like there will be. Teleport showing up, that's what they wanted. They were trying to get the TP out. They'll find it from Doran, who's now at about half HP. Baron Aggro still maintained, 4,000 HP, resetting back up to about 6K. BLG still maintaining pressure on the objective. Bin jumps forward, looking at Peanut, goes into the counter strike, now activating the stopwatch. Baron's gonna go down and BLG got it. Chovy gets away over the wall, but he's barely got any HP left. Gen G are running for the hills as Yagao goes forward and forces out the ulti from Pays. BLG look and now flashes in. Health bars are critically low and Pays is critically dead. BLG are running them all down. Four men in the dirt. Only Delight still stands. And BLG will march to the Nexus. Who needs a recon when you can engage yourself on Zeri? Elk just fires himself into the middle of the team, flashes in, drops the ulti, and BLG will wipe Genji from the map and march on the Nexus for game number one. We needed to see that aggro out of BLG. We needed to see ferocity out of these guys to go head to head with Gen G. And that's exactly what we got here in game number one. They will bulldoze the base, take the first game, and lead this series. That's kind of what I expected. But then not banning the Gwen, I think it's just really going to be problematic because you can transition that lead so They ran well. out of bat, Isaiah. They just <laughs> ran out. You only get yeah. five. Yeah. Yeah. In the praises of BLG, but we got to remember who they're staring down across the rift because Gen G is a ferocious squad to have to fight. Shun coming in here looking for the dive on Dachovi. The charm flies oh. out, but it missed. They get the damage anyway. The max range instant one, two proc on the Q as On has to try to get away from the tier one here in the bottom lane. P looking to set up a dive, but Elk and On are already both out of danger. It's a 1-0 game for BLG. Yeah, they get the kill, but it's the inverse of last game where all of these minions are being denied. They're actually gonna have to TP their mid laner down to catch this wave because it's too many minions to lose. That would be about two, three full waves that Elk would lose, so BLG are not willing to have that happen. Bin trading well on that top side. But yeah, I mean, it was Delight that started it all up. Bin? Oh, he flashed in! Bin! Instead. Delight. Shun now needs to be mindful of Delight making the rotation up as Jovi drops the ulti here on Yagao. That bear is so obnoxious. Tibbers does so much damage if it sticks around. Meanwhile, 3v3 now here in the river. Peanut jumping in, looking to go after these guys. On trying to disengage. Shun and Yagao need to do the same. On is gonna drop, and it's Jovi getting the first kill. Now take the dragon as well. Props to Gen G. I feel like after game one, they weren't quite. Uh, they have accomplished that, though it is a very slight lead, so we'll see if he's gonna be able to make Peanut good on it. Looking for a play top. All right, Ben could be in some trouble here. Trying to fight it off in a 1v2, but so much burst from Peanut oh. and from Dora. Oh, characteristic for BLG, <laughs> but they are going to say, you know what, it's fine. We'll give this one up. We don't feel strong enough to fight right now. Kills earlier, but can still have a huge impact in the fights. Yagao ults over. BLG looking for their moment here in the mid lane, but they won't find a damn thing. Peanut's ready for the follow-up, throws Yagao up into the air. A lot of burst coming down from Gen G. Doran's got the kill on On, and Shun barely survives. Doran's taken low. Bin jumps into the middle of everybody, but now he's got to retreat because Gen G's able to turn around, and Delight finds the kill. Yagao! going to use that to just apply pressure in the mid lane instead. The Drake is secured by BLG, so now Gen G, they didn't want to overcommit, just jump into a fight they weren't ready to take. Instead, they're going to at least trade objectives, grab this tier one. Their lane assignments. Chovy wasn't prepared for this. Chovy in some trouble as Shun initiates. There's the one two punch of Vi and one of her lane mates. Line them up, knock them down. Ulti into the follow up from the Gwen means that Ben and Shun can get that kill for free and they'll take the tier one turret on top. Yeah, really nicely done. They know the dragon it. fights. It's just going to be about setting up those objectives. <laughs> <laughs> really just walk through them. So they're going to lose their mid lane tier one for free and they're still going to have to answer. It's or fine. He has a second fine. charge. Yeah, yeah, it should be fine. We back up. I was very concerned. 
initially there, but it's okay. Dragon gets a 4k. They're going in. Chovy wants to lead the way. The Drake is down to 3,000 as Chovy goes into the zone. Used to protect himself for a little bit, and Tibbers has dropped once more. Now it's taken out, but Yagao is down. Pays grabs the kill, and Gen G have already run the fight. Peanut's going to chase down Elk, and the Jinx has no way home. Delight jumps over the wall with the Abyssal Dive, and on to the next target. Gobble, gobble! There goes on, and he's just more food for Pays. Gen G get three, and they'll get themselves a soul point as well. I play even if the champ did connect. You see a bit of trading back and forth in bot lane, but Peanut has his eyes on Elk. Jumps in. On, decides to drop the Glacial Fissure, and now they're going to find some damage onto Peanut. They follow it up with Shun. They get the shutdown on the enemy jungler, and On's back and away, trying to escape from Timbers. Pays is stopped. Winter's Bite is there, and Ben's coming around. Snip, snip. They force him to go gold, and they shut him down with Ben. The rockets are flying, and Gen G's dying. Delight hits the floor next, and Dora. So in goes Shun. They full commit to the fight. Both top laners TP in. Which they have now snowballed into to a commanding map state. On needs to be careful, though. Yeah, On potentially in some trouble here. Shun over the wall. Going to give him something to jump away to. Glacial Fisher throw down by On the support. Now disengaging, now getting back to his ben. team. Bin's found his way into the back. He's found Chovy. Yagao's here with the front. He's gone golden. Two separate fights. BLG continuing to push down here with the bottom side as Doran's taken very low and On now retreating again. Yagao's still at about 200. Doran's still about dead. Peanut has to run away and leave he the cool. through Doran. One proc of his ulti forced Chovy into the Zonias. And then there's no damage. He heals to full off of Doran just using him for some free HP. And B BLG come to life. They're pushing down mid. They take the tier two, and they're going to go. They were very separated. Yagao and Elk were separated from the front line. <laughs> Thanks to Doran's Orn and Gen G, five men top. They're going to force down the tier one. It's really going to be a battle of pay saying, try to kill me. You know? Doran took about 1,000 HP. It doesn't look like that because he is the Orn. But on also taking a slight amount of damage here. But look at him being charged. Chovy's in some trouble. Uses the, sto the stasis to keep himself alive. And now the Orn Horn's coming through. Shun looking for a little bit of pressure as Ben's Hallowed Mist is going to keep him alive. Disengage, coming back out for BLG. Genji take a little bit of damage, but for the amount of ulties, the amount of abilities that Ooh. went flying, there's not a lot of injured health so far. Shun backing away. Elk and On got to be careful as On's going to take a whole lot of damage here from Pays rooted up. But now Pays could be in some trouble. One more hit for the winner's bite is going to set him up. They might just take him down. Yagal's after Trophy. He's barely still alive, and Yagal's got the first kill. He kites away from Peanut to stay alive. Elk continues the chase after Dora. Now, you're shortchanging his flash as well for that pullback on his Q on Chovy. But at the end of the day, it's over. So Doran and Peanut are here. Nice charm down on a Doran. A little bit more damage, finding its way onto the tank, but that's not the guy you can target if the fight is even. Doran ben. now getting chased down by Ben. He'll cut right through him. Ben is unstoppable. And BLG once again have a 5v4 as Chovy just now respawns and teleports to join up with the rest of Gen G. BLG right back into the Baron pit. Keep your eyes on Chovy. It's going to need to be a big Tibbers if they want to try to win something here. All of BLG starting to back away a little bit now. The Glacial Fissure dropped by On. BLG back into the Chovy. pit. Chovy tagged up the winner's bite. There's the Tron. They want to go after Chovy. They force the ulti back out of the light, but BLG's health bars are looking bad. Guardian Angel's going to come out there from Shun, but Gen G are camping the body. They take him down, and Chovy gets the credit. Pays flashes in. He wants the damage on On, but he can't quite find it. On likely to drop here next as Pays goes on a killing spree. Ben tries to fight back. Delight is down. They're going after Chovy again. El looks for the reset. He's trying to cut. Spaces. The Rockets are ready to go! He's excited! Oh. And he just can't fight it! It's BLG winning another fight and getting another ace with a quadra kill for Elk! Elk gets excited and spaces Genji perfectly with the Rockets! No chance for Pace to turn around! That was perfectly played by the BLG bot laner! He is protected by his team, and BLG know they got everything they need to be able to find a win. Yagao and Shun gonna pressure the mid lane, pressure the tier three, take down the inhibitor turret as Delight goes to join back up with- On and Elk are just bouncing between mid and bot here, and they're gonna be able to grab this inhibitor very easily. Chovy, can he find an angle? 
ELG, they take out the inhib. Now Doran's gonna take the damage here with a start. You gal CC as he has to try to get away. Doran goes to the Ornhorn, but on does a beautiful job blocking it out. Tibbers is summoned. Tibbers is, is here. Everyone is doing so much damage at this point. They charm up Doran, but he does a good job buffering through it. Meanwhile, the engage back on the Shun. Gen G go after him, but they cannot burst down the jungler. BLG ready to defend him as Elk is firing into the Drake. BLG have started up the objective. Now Yagao off to the side, has to be careful. Peanut wants to contest it. Make it a 50-50 here for the Drake. He looks to go into the pit. It's gonna be secured by the side of BLG. Has been Yagao look to keep everybody else occupied. Elk grabs a kill. They trade one back for support for Jungler. But now Gen G is gonna go on the run. Elk is unstoppable. Gen G are gone. A triple for the Jinx. Elk runs them over. And BLG are gonna bring it home. Pray all you want to the church of Chovy, nothing will stand in the way of BLG tearing Genji apart and going to match point in this best of five. It was such a close game for so long. Genji had an edge for so long, but the edge is blunted as BLG move on to match point. But I do okay. think that in comps Congrats. that don't have the same dive threat, that it does make sense. Because one of the problems we see with Blitz is how it doesn't offer the same level of peel that many other supports do have, but are finding opportunities. He's Ben will drop some farm, but honestly, he doesn't really care. He's going to lose a plate, unfortunately, for him as well. But he can just TP back towards top. And clearly, he is adjusting his plate. My favorite comment when people always go, well, no, it's uh -oh. easy. Uh-oh, Jovi. Oh, Jovi. Jovi walks into his own jungle only to Pull find himself right in the path of the super mega death rocket. And well played, because On is actually in that banana brush, so he spots Chovy walking around. And that is why Shun could just stay in the pit. Ben here. All right, the dive on to Bin here in the top lane. Peanut just casually walks on up, gets that closer just as the last little bits of that CC expire. BLG starting up the objective. Bin here on the front. Again, not afraid of getting pulled in. This is the tank. Oh, oh a beautiful pull, and the Kindred is down like so many times before. Shun's going to be dealt. Killed in retaliation. Chovy goes into the stasis, trying to stay alive with the decimating smash. Slams him back into the earth. Now on and Ben are ready to keep on chasing as Doran barely survives with 100 HP. On brings him back. Pays flashes away. And Elk says sayonara. And again, BLG come to life in the team fights. And Elk gets paid. 3 0 and 2 now on the Jinx. He is. Oh, <laughs> oh back to life. Yigao getting dove. Doran and Peanut should be able to get this oh. done. Oh my goodness, never mind. Maybe we got ourselves a nice stasis. I believe who has not had a good series is definitely going to catch some more heat for those types of things. And uh, the, the frustrating thing for Peanut in that situation. Joby and Doran, I think if you sit back and allow on to dictate, he's just going to keep fishing for hooks, and I think he'll be fine here. There's going to be a lantern available. But the problem is, oh, you Peanut, help. remember, no alt. Going in after Peanut does not land the charm. It means Peanut can try to get away here. Yigao finds Q1, no Q2. Oh, but here comes the Scion. Here comes the Rocket. Neither one of them's even needed except to move Kindred closer to Yigao, who picks up the sixth kill of the game for BLG. That's the punish from the cross map ulti from earlier. Peanut had that little panic ult as he saw the Jinx Rocket coming in, and now On gonna catch Delight. Okay, Delight under pressure as Elk and On work together to take him down. Yigao with a TP in to try to make sure they've got the follow-up now. A 2v2 breaking out as Doran looks to charge forward, but Elk hits him with the Zap to slow him down. A TP summoned up to bring Chovy into the mix means BLG won't take the fight any further, but because of all the attention in topside, Shun and Ben can take out the turret in the bottom lane. Items, Everfrost, Blitz, it has become relatively popular. We see it in pro a decent amount, and it's gonna be double Everfrost, so the lockdown is just gonna be enormous from BLG. If they ever hit one CC, they're gonna hit everything. Yeah, lockdown. Everfrost, Blitzcrank, all super annoying. On, though, with a beautiful pull. Peanut forced to use the Lamb's Respite there. On with the Flash to get himself out of the way of the counterattack, but Bin has blocked the exit. Peanut tries to get away. Yagao can't find the damage to kill him off, but now Delight's here on the front line, and Elk is excited yet again. Another beautiful pull from On. Pays under pressure from Bin as Peanut jumps right back into the fight. Yagao still Elk. back on the side. A triple kill back over to Elk. BLG are team fighting gods, and Gen G have been excommunicated. The bot lane of BLG is completely popping off. A quadra kill for Elk to follow up on his triple kill from earlier.
BLG is just an unstoppable force here in game three. Yeah. He basically kept Chovy, Pays, and Peanut out of the fight by himself, which then gave Elk the space to just dominate. I mean, Elk is just in a firing range there. He's free firing the entire fight. BLG's coaching staff so are being played by BLG. I mean, Pace is just getting so pressured. Great oh, hook. Nice potential pick here. Jun shouldn't be able to get away. Uses the ulti to try to make some distance, but the pick is complete. Pays gets the kill. BLG ready to try to stop the Gen G 20 minute Baron attempt. Chovy trying to back away a little bit here. Watch you can for see Doran's Delight. Turn. Hex Flash not going to find a mark here as Gen G have the Baron down to about half. Doran leads the charge. Chovy's exhausted. Yagao focused here with the very start. He's taken down. Pays gets the kill. Doran kept alive. Super Mega Death Rocket won't get any kills thanks to the Lamb's Respite. And now Bin's going to be dropped next. They take down the Scion. Gen G may not have got the objective, but they win the fight and they're starting to claw. Begins again. Elk is low on resources and BLG are down two men. The Baron is the target for the side of Gen G, oh! but Elk is legendary and Delight is already down on trying to be the front line here. Maybe look for a pick here for the Korean representatives, the number one seed from the LCK. On goes in. He tries to find the flash hook and instead Pays is unstoppable. The punish is ready to go from Gen G. Yagao dashes forward, but Delight's going to be the target here for BLG. They're still trying to outfight him, but the Lamb's respite keeps everybody alive. Alive. Elk is untouched, trying to find a reset. Bin goes on a killing spree. Delight is down. Now it's Gen G on the run. Jovi trying to get away, but Ben is right on top of him. Despite how good it looked, Gen G lose three, and BLG get another fight. What a tense fight once again. Pays will take damage. Pays trying to get away from oh. this. There's such low oh. The shutdown. Back oh. and forth. The marksmen are all dead. Peanut grabs the kill. He's down to 150. Ben wants to get him, but the jump over the wall with a dance of arrows from Peanut. He's still alive for now. Let's see how much further he might be able to get away. Gets a heal. Gets over the wall. Wait. On. On's looking for Peanut here. They want to get this enemy jungler. Ben coming around to stop oh. him. There's the grab. Boom! Shut down over to on. Hook! Stone pays away. The Baron begins. Peanut is alive. The hook! The pull onto Doran. That would normally not be the right target, but BLG has so much damage, so much burst. They They're have a three-item jinx with the last Whisper tacked on, and it means that Gen G can only take a consolation prize in stopping the Dragon Soul as BLG secure a 25-minute Baron. Yeah, they're going to deny the soul here. They will get an objective bounty. Yes, okay, so they will be able to secure this. But BLG are going to be pushing on top side. You're missing your top lane. You're for sure going to lose. I feel like they need to reset. He can. Do BLG want to push their advantage anymore? They have a wave coming in mid. Yeah, I like this from BLG. Just keep the pressure up. The resets are now coming through for Gen G. They know they have two waves. Yagao's going to secure another tower mid. Tier 3 mid collapsed. Top lane tier 3 on is the dead. enemy ADC, who is also two items up on him. The Doran is going to die instantly. Shun. Shun. Face checking. This might be the angle that Gen G needs. A little bit more damage goes through and kills the enemy jungler. Doran firing the Orn ulti from okay. downtown. Not going to get a whole lot more out of that. Call of the Forge God not getting a knockup means they won't find any more kills, but at least they've stopped the BLG full team fighting machine for now. That is great, but that's Tibbers, that's Orn ult, that's Thresh ult. That's a lot of cooldowns used. So PLG are unthreatened. They're just going to walk mid. They're going to take the inhibitor. And will oh. they go for more? Pays losing half HP to two auto attacks there from Elk. Genji taking a bit of damage on a couple of different players here as BLG retreat. Now they're stepping forward. Now they want to potentially find the engage again. Ben goes in, finds the knock up there with a the peanut. He drops the lambs resident in time to stay alive. Jovi with the stasis, avoiding the pull. Doran here in the front line has been is slain by the light, but now they might be able to get one back. Doran, one more auto attack, and he falls. Elk is still looking. He wants to find a little bit more damage, but he can't quite get there. Genji escaped back into their own base. It's Doran and Ben. The tanks are traded, but it's BLG with the way ready to go here in the top side. They're looking at a tier three turret again, this time in top lane. Wow, even at a numbers disadvantage. Dude, wait for someone to answer. As soon as Doran shows up there, all right, you walk forward. If Genji tries to defend his fort, you're dead. You will get dealt around the Baron area so they can look for a contest. All oh, right, why are they contesting now? Trick secured. Hey, so they're dictating watch where Genji has on. to go. On with a pull! Oh my god, he found Delight and instantly killed him. Genji have lost their support. Peanut loses a quarter of his health to a single rocket from Elk. BLG, this support over and over and over again this game. The Blitzcrank has paid 
dividends. It's a champion that is entirely useless or entirely game-breaking. It's all about the pilot. And on is absolutely Look at you dominant. Go. This could be a game-ending fight here. Genji's gonna try to face check in. I don't think they feel that they can give up the Baron, but Yagao has the perfect flank angle. Doran gonna try to guard Pays here. Keep your eyes on the Aphelios. They summon up the Ornhorn. They wanna get the damage here, but Shun goes over the wall, tries to deal with Pays. Now Chovy's under pressure. Can't get the kill on Elk. Shun is killed by Peanut. Elk under pressure there from the Tibbers as Chovy finally dies. Elk gets excited from that. Yagao goes in and finds the charm on the enemy top laner, and Doran flashes back over the wall. Peanut's damage is not impactful. Bin can keep getting himself back as Gen G lose their mid laner, but honestly not too bad. Delight has respawned. Exactly, Delight has respawned and Doran can TP back, so Gen G have pushed them off and now they're gonna try to take their opportunity to start this up. They don't want BLG to have a free base. Shun is not alive, but BLG will not give this up without a fight. BLG ready to challenge here on the Baron. They throw out the Everfrost Delight. Delight with a flash, but Elk's already got him killed. Doran's gonna be taking the damage now. The Lamb's respite barely keeping Pays alive through the Super Mega Death Rocket. Doran steps under the chompers and Elk's ready to free fire yet again. Gen G lose their front line and BLG are still chasing. Bina with a flash away from the Zap as On and Yagao both completely out of mana, chase after the Genji jungler who can use the dance of arrows to get back over the wall. Oh, Meanwhile, Chovy's by himself. TP, Chovy coming in, but Shun marks him immediately. Just happens to be walking through the area. He goes in with the ulti. The follow up from Yagao may have just been a mistake, but no, he barely escapes. And Elk is after Chovy. One more auto attack kills the Genji. Sweet Genji. The pays played it out really well, trying to stay alive on that Baron turn here. BLG, though, so confident they're even going to wait for their fifth member to respawn. Already taken out in the other lanes. Now they're pressuring onto the tier three here in bottom. Tibbers has already been summoned up. The Moonlight Vigil misses. On is below half health, but it doesn't matter a whole lot. BLG are going to hard force it. They go in with a buy ulti onto Pays. They're going to find a lot. They'll force out the Lamb's Respite as Dora takes all the damage. And on grabs the shutdown on Pays. It's over. It's done. BLG's won. The Queen Ace as the LPL number two seed from fifth place in the regular season takes down the best team in Korea and earns their spot in the next round. Over Gen G, we're going to throw it over to the stage with Lore and Yagao for the Verizon post game interview. Thank you very much, guys. And Yagao. Thank you so much for joining me. Congrats on taking down Gen G 3-0 today. A surprising result, I think, when you think about what the fans' expectations had coming into today. Tell me about your understanding of Gen G and the preparation you planned against them.首先恭喜你們今天是三比零非常乾淨的拿下了今天的這場標五,可能三比零這個比分對於很多人來講是稍微有一點出乎意料的,所以說想問一下牙膏選手,可能對於真這支隊伍有什麼屬於自己的理
其实从 LPL 的季后赛开始一路走到这里，你们一共打了四十四局的比赛。其实这是比任何一支来这里参赛的队伍都要多的，所以说也想问一下，你们是怎么样来好好的消化如此紧密的赛程，又怎么样能够在 MSI 舞台上保持这么高的竞技水准呢？呃，就因为我们队伍都比较年轻嘛，然后他们身体就比都比较好，然后体力很好，然后就我的话就多多注意休息就好了。Because in our teams, we have so many young players, so we just would like to maintain a very good health and travel us. And also for me, I just like to take more rest, maybe. And this is what will make you have the final form, hopefully coming into tomorrow's matchup. I know that you have a lot of respect for Faker, especially. You were talking about defeating Chovy today. How important is it going to be for you to defeat T1, especially after they eliminated you last year at Worlds? 那其实，在明天你也要对阵 T1， 对阵 Faker 选手。其实之前牙膏也有说过 ，Faker 也是你很尊敬的一名选手。今天你在这个舞台上击败了 Chovy， 明天即将面对 Faker。其实他们也是去年的世界赛上有击败你们的队伍。所以说，明天击败他们对你来讲有多大的重要性呢？呃，就。明天很关键吧，因为我看我去昨天看我几个京东的老队友都赢了，所以说明天我肯定也要拿下。Up to me because yesterday we saw as so many JDG former teammates they have already beaten T1. So I want to prove I want to beat them again tomorrow as well. It's going to be an exciting matchup for sure. Can't wait for this one, Yagal. Thank you so much for the interview. Appreciate it. Wendy, thank you so much for being on stage with me once again. And that's all for us here on this Saturday MSI stage. Sharks back to you. I mean, credit to uh, most of the crowd who were behind BLG before one foot was stepped onto the rift, and their faith is rewarded because it's a 3-0. Welcome everyone to MSI Cooldown. Insane. Billy Billy Gaming eliminate the LCK champion G Gen G rather uh, in a GG. Actually, a 3-0 GG Dagda. Unbelievable. I honestly can't believe what we just saw. Yeah. I, Myself included, so many people doubted BLG coming into this, were like, look, maybe they can cook up something special, maybe they can get something to work. But the fact that they stepped up across the board on the day, being even the last remaining member from that MSI winning team last year, making sure that he keeps himself on the road to getting back to finals in this one. And Incredible this last stuff. game was insane. Yeah, I mean, you you look at these team fights, and I know, like, uh, on is a massive difference maker. Yagao on the Ari, uh, as Vedia said, he has received a lot of criticism, uh, rightfully so in a lot of cases, for his laning. Um, but really trying to find these charms on priority targets, separating things out. Again, we've talked a lot about this with BLG. Like, I feel like every time you talk to a team and it's a boring answer, you, you're like, how did you win? And they're like, we played their game. But on it, quite honestly, BLG made Gen G play their game today. Uh, it I agree, but even in the team fights where Gen G domestically have been so incredibly strong in the LCK, I feel like they couldn't match, like not even remotely, even in straight up 5v fighting. Um, we saw that particularly when it comes to the solo lanes, I think Gen G really fell apart. It's really telling to me that if you look at this, the only ones that it felt like performed up to the level that you'd expect from them domestically was the bot lane, right? Yeah. Doran, we already talked about as a worrying point, but Chovy not being able to maintain the performance that he's had in the tournament thus far and domestically um, is something that BLG made amazing use of. Dagda said something cheeky. Do you want to say it again? <laughs> oh, no. So I say, well, look, this was what we experienced from Peanut in usual LPL games. Maybe it just wasn't an LCK game, but either way, I think, look, Emily drew this gorgeous little diagram. It was absolutely fantastic. This was the key to beating them today, and the fact that you actually get to see them spread open the fights, make sure that they're able to have these weird skirmishes, being playing surprisingly super well on this side on the front line. There were so many different factors to today, and it's incredible to see from BLG.
And I know people hate when analysts mention this, but I have to go back to something that Candace said in the very beginning when we asked her about this team and their unlikely run uh, throughout playoffs was that this is a team that gets along really, really well together, right? So like we've seen them int together and we've seen them win <laughs> together. Um, and I think that actually can take you really, really far. Uh, and it is a driving force behind why BLG have looked so coordinated in a lot of these fights. I mean, it's literally what DRX did last year, right? Like, they were not supposed yeah. to be, but they were the fourth seed. They went down all the time. And BLG, at least up until this point, is having a very similar run. I love this comparison. Now, we got to crown our one plus player of the series. And it was a contentious one, but I hope you'll allow us on in the support role. Now, Bin had an amazing series. Sean had an amazing series. But his impact on the Braum in terms of these team fights and on the Blitzcrank to give BLG the early advantage that they would need to close out the series, this was a masterclass. I think it looks absolutely spectacular. Again, the fact that he was so consistently putting himself to exactly where he needs to be in the prom, whether it's blocked the Ornolds, whether it was trying to get in position to block Chovy on the Ani, there were so many different movements that he had to keep track of, but was constantly picking the correct one. And even then, as we started to move into the third game three as well, these early roams on the Blitz crank got the early lead for BLG. Every time you saw them try and get through, I don't know how he was landing hooks onto people he was. Like, there were so many times in these fights where it's like, oh yeah, that's gonna hit a tank. And somehow he like diverts no, it around. It's again, Yigawa misses the charm. They think they're safe when he comes in. With yeah, and um, I think what's really important, and even though this game felt like somewhat of a fever demon, it was like a 15-minute yeah. Barrett yeah. fight, what is really important, and, and you already highlighted this, Emily, is that Gen.G was never <laughs> able to ever get into a position where they're able to take tempo, where they're able to snowball. And on to me, particularly on this Blitzcrank, was so essential, and every time that Gen.G actually did try to step forward, they would have to either fully respect, or, as happened many times, got caught off guard by that Blitzcrank. And yeah, so it was actually really funny because as we were getting ready for desk, they were killing the Nexus and Tabe is already sprinting <laughs> across stage to jump into the arms of his players. It was, uh, it was really great. It, it was, was great, great to see. Uh, on the player of the series, of course, on, on as the player of the series, of course, um, you know, a lot of superstar performances and I think it was very scrappy, it was very chaotic, it is the way they love to play, but we cannot forget that in those moments, everyone needs to do their job. Because otherwise, you lose sight of the game, and you lose sight of it specifically against a team like Genji, who is able to team fight well in their own right. So, I know we say often, 